There are very few things that crush the creativity of musicians and put musicians in a state of despair like being a perfectionist. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why being a perfectionist is the absolute worst thing you can be as a musician and give you some ways you can start overcoming it today. So let's get to it. Hey, what's up? And welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So I wanna have a one-on-one -on -one with you today and talk to you about this thing that has been plaguing musicians for ages and still plagues musicians to this day. And that thing is being a perfectionist. Now, as artists and musicians and creators, we all deal with being a perfection and perfectionism in one way or another. I mean, we want what we do to be flawless. We want the CDs and projects and things that we put out to be impeccable. We want our performances to be faultless and we want to appear as masters and virtuosos. But I really like Dr. Brene Brown's definition of perfectionism, which says that if I live perfectly, if I do everything perfectly, if I operate perfectly, I can avoid or minimize shame, blame, judgment, and criticism. And man, ain't that the truth for us musicians. We want to avoid judgment and criticism. Because when you think about it, perfectionism is really about external validation anyway. It's all about what other people think of us. And perfectionism is really addictive because it's great to think that there's a way that we can avoid judgment and criticism from others. And perfectionism gives us this sort of false way to do it, but it comes at a really big cost. So because of perfectionism, we sit on our music and on our projects and they, you know, sit uncompleted on a computer somewhere when they can be out inspiring the world and making you money. We make all sorts of excuses about why the project isn't done when the project could be out bringing you massive notoriety and authority in the music industry. We procrastinate and talk ourselves out of doing so many things like projects and CDs and all of this kind of stuff. And we tend to forget that there are people out there needing to experience what we have to offer as musicians. We overanalyze all of the minute details of all the things that we need to do when we could instead be, you know, experiencing the sense of accomplishment from having something finished. I'm here to tell you that there are very few perfectionists that finish anything. And the very few that actually do get something finished, it probably took them exponentially longer than what it should have or could have, and probably to the point to where the thing that they finished probably isn't even important or relevant anymore. So look, I want you to start letting go of being a perfectionist today. I want you to put a date on the calendar right now for the release of your single or your EP or whatever project you've been thinking about doing but procrastinating on. I want you to make some calls to the people that you've been thinking about calling to help you today. I want you to punch perfectionism in the face and accomplish your goals and dreams as a musician. So look, it's simple. Being a perfectionist is the one thing that will stifle your music journey, will stifle your dreams, and will prevent you from making lots of money and developing authority in the music industry. You can be the one that gets all your music and all your projects out and have the world inspired by what you do. You can be the one that gets calls to write music and get calls to perform at large events simply because someone passed your EP to the vice president of a Fortune 500 company and they loved it. I mean, just imagine you got all your music out and it's inspiring the world. You're not hesitant to do an online performance or online show. You don't procrastinate about picking up the phone and calling people you wanna work with. What would that mean for you? Would you be further along? Would you feel and actually be more accomplished? All you need to do is start letting go of being a perfectionist today. So look, I know this was kind of deep, but it's one of the things that we all deal with as musicians, and it's a big problem in the music industry. So question of the day, what are some of the ways that being a perfectionist has held you back in your musical journey? Has it kept you from putting out music and CDs and things like that? What has it kept you from doing? Jump down in the comment section and let me know, and I'll talk to you in the next video. 